Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Back to Basics. I did the bad intro again, didn't I? Darn it! It's okay. Let's go ahead and just get on into it today. Uh, there's there's something that I really want to get done uh, so that we can get our way into the end. Uh, I'm actually very excited about it. So, what we're going to need today, obviously I still have a full inventory from our, our scavenger hunt, kind of look through of that place but it's okay let's go ahead and just drop a few things off there we go i mean we'll be fine uh we're gonna grab a ton of the cobble today this is what we're gonna be making we're gonna be making a mob farm okay so today or, or a mob grinder i should say uh let me go ahead and sleep first so we don't run into any problems and then we need to decide where we want to make it now i'm thinking somewhere pretty close to home because we're not gonna want to walk really far and, and risk ourselves during the day and stuff um so i'm thinking yeah yeah someplace close to home um I have a general idea for one, I think. I think we'll be fine with it. Like I said, close to home because we don't want to... We want to be able to come in at night or maybe maybe even we'll make it so that, you know, you don't have to come in at night or anything. Uh, I think we're going to do it over back here, uh, actually. So, we'll put it like right out there, right in that kind of canyon thing that we have going here. Is there a way for me to get past there? I think I can do this. Ready? Oh... I don't have any room. Wait, what, what should we get rid of? Uh, not valuable. Potatoes. Uh, well, potatoes are pretty valuable, but it's fine. Okay. Are you serious? I can't... Are you kidding me? It's whatever. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Like it never happened. Let's go ahead and, and head over here. Now, for the basis of our mob spawner, or our mob, our mob grinder, uh, we don't want it too, like, in the open, right? So... I mean, right here looks pretty good, like, here, and then I'm sure we can spiff this place up. Okay, so, we're going to want a 2x2 two two to start, right, and then, uh, there's obviously a few things that I want to I wanna build back in the house for this, but we can get started. Now, we need to go 24 blocks up, or, uh, I believe, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, you know what we should do? I don't have a bucket of water. Ow. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, no, no. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a bucket of water. I feel bad that I forgot about it. Uh, we'll grab a bucket of water, and I'll grab, we'll grab a few more things. I came out here completely unprepared for this. Uh, I probably should have foresaw this a little bit more, but it's not a big deal. Uh, home is right up here. Hopefully, we'll be able to jump in. If I break this and this, ready? Hup. There we go. Look how easy that was. It was like I knew what I was doing, almost. All right, let's go ahead and go up here. Now, like I said, there are a few things I want to make. I want to grab this iron. I think that will help. Uh, let's get rid of this other wood here. Those guys. And we'll grab those for sure. Um, and then what else did I need? Oh, yeah. We need that bucket for water. That's under tools, right? Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, so before we go back out, we want to make a, a few things. Uh, first, we're going to make four hoppers. Uh, I know that seems a little bit expensive, but it's all right. Hoppers are made in this pattern right here. So there we go. We have our four hoppers. Oh, there goes my iron. And then we need some more wood, actually. Um, doesn't look like we have anything, like, pre-prepped. Like, any wood that's already broken down. So let's go ahead and do that, I guess. And we'll put the other wood away here. There we go. Now let's go ahead and make ourselves two chests. So that's all we need. Uh, we didn't have enough wood for that before, though. There we go. And then... Hmm. 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 We'll drop it. It's fine. Uh, where's mob drops? Where's my mob drops chest? What? I thought I had a mob drops. Oh, it's natural. I forgot. Okay, there we go. And then that should that should do it. I actually want that with us. Okay. I have way too many things in my inventory, you guys. I do apologize about this. Okay, there we go. Now, now we're ready to go. It's probably nighttime again now that we've uh, we've taken all that time to do everything like that. But it's all right. Here we go. Get some food in us. Uh, and we'll make a quick route out for now because in case we have to come back and stuff, we'll just boom. Okay, now, now we're ready. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to go ahead and build up, like I said, 24 high uh, on, on those, on, on these four sections here. I'll show you. Uh, we got to build 24 high here, 24 high here, 24 high here, and here, like that. And we're going to go, we're going to go straight up, like I said. Uh, but first, I'm going to go ahead and. Like that, and then we'll 
so that I can just jump down into the middle once, uh, once I do it. Now, I'll be back here with you guys here in a minute because I know this is going to take a little while to build all the way up 24 high on each one of these sections. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be back with you guys here in a second. All right, now that we have these built, we want to build out from here to seven. So uh, the average flow of water. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I believe it's one, two, three, four, five, five six, seven. Now we're going to do this around the whole way. Just like this uh, on each one of these things. And I'll clear out, obviously, the leaves as we go and stuff. Uh, and I'll be back with you guys once I've done that. All right, now that we have that, we need to build our uh, three blocks. So, wait, I'll show you what I mean. It's kind of awkward, so here we go. Yeah, okay, so we need to build here, right? And we want to do this, and then here we go. Just like that on each side. It's not going to take very long, so I'll go ahead and show me doing it for all of them. Uh, the idea here is that we will be building platforms that they can spawn in in these areas. So we don't really need to do, uh, to, to like... Uh, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. We'll see, you'll see here uh, in a second. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Just like that. And we'll do it again on this side identically. Uh, this shouldn't be too hard. Here we go. Like that. Okay, now we need to build these guys, uh, these platforms. Now, I was told that we could make them hollow like this. So you don't have to put that middle piece in like that. Like that. And we need to do that all the way around on each one of these. So I'll, I'll do that without you guys, and then uh, I'll be back with you guys here in a second. Uh, and then we're actually going to need to do a second set on here, like another set here and here, 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 all the way around. So I'll be back once I have all of them done for you guys, and I'll show you guys exactly what I had meant. All right, it's very quickly becoming nighttime, so let's we're going to go ahead and head back to the house. And I need to grab some more resources as well. But you can see uh, we are getting started on an awesome grinder. Hopefully, uh, we will we will have this baby up and running in no time so that, once again, we can get our experience and everything f to in order to uh, fight the uh, end dragon. Because we want to get a good bow. We want to get great diamond armor because we only have iron right now. Uh, we want to wreck the Sender Dragon. That's the plan here. So let me go ahead and sleep, and let me go ahead and get the other things we uh, need, uh, the extra resources to build and things like that, and then we will uh, we'll be, be back there. All right, you guys. As you can see, now we have all of the uh, the three by threes placed. Uh, it didn't take really long at all. It wasn't too bad. So now the next step to this is going to be making our... I don't know how to explain it. our four our four tall wall all the way around basically so like this and then let me go ahead and just break this guy and we'll, I'll start with like the two too high because I think that'll be the easiest way to do this and we'll go two I'll go too high all the way around and then I'll finish it off but the idea is here is that obviously we're gonna want to use uh, or be re resource saving so I just want to do three high the whole way around because uh, I can reach that still. Uh, like this, right? Okay, so, we're, yeah, we're just going to want to do this. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll cut off these corners here just like that so that we don't have to use nearly as much stone. As you can see, I went ahead and mined a ton more stone. And we're just going to do this all the way around, and then I'll bring this up one more layer high even. Uh, and then I'll, we'll get going on the next step here. All right, you guys, and there we go. I have my four high walls. As you can see, I just want to make sure I don't fall here. Uh, as you can see, I have my four high walls. Now, our next step uh, is is something that's kind of kind of different. Uh, we need the wooden trap doors. So you're going to want to go ahead and make a ton of wooden trap doors. Uh, a lot. You can see I have a lot. I don't even know if I have enough. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use these. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place all of these where you can, just like this, inside of here. Oop, that's actually not how I wanted that. I want this all kind of to match, so I want it to be like all facing the same ways when I put them down and stuff. It's kind of hard to explain, but we'll always do these ones on the inside like this, around those ones like that, and then we'll do these two. I should do that, and then here we go like this. Let's see this side, and like I said, we'll do hmm hmm hmm, uh, and then jump over. See, and we'll do this the whole way around. So that we have literally every single or almost every single one blocked. I don't think we need these ones blocked at all. And the, or the corners there. Like this. And then there we go. Like I said, see, I, I don't even have enough of these. We're going to have to go back down and get more. Dang it. That's all right. 
Yeah, so I'll be with you guys once I'm done filling this up completely so we don't have to keep doing it. And then obviously the next step would be to uh, right-click these down. I'll just say that now so I can just go ahead and do it. I don't have to go ahead and show you guys me doing it. But the idea is, is that then mobs will register this as a block when they're down so that they think they can walk across it and they'll actually fall here. And uh, we'll have water in these passageways to push them into here. Obviously, there's not going to be water on the bottom when, uh, when we have the real run. Uh, as you can see, this is where I quarried all of our stone. Now, it is important for me to say, uh, while I'm still here, uh, that we need to light this area up. Uh, the more mobs that spawn on the ground and stuff, the less mobs that are going to spawn actually up into our grinder. So, uh, like I said, you're just going to want to, any tunnels, any underground areas, bits where, where mobs can spawn, you're going to want to go ahead and light those up just so you get more, uh, more mobs up in your grinder. Alright you guys, and there we go. Like I said, we are going to right click them all down and there we look nice and clean now. So let's go ahead and the next step here is kind of weird. We're going to have to go back down here first before we start anything else and, uh, and fix this up a little bit because it's not exactly how I wanted it. There we go, we'll just pick up this water. Now, uh, like I said, we made it 24 high for a reason. Uh, hopefully that this will continue registering. Now let's go ahead and... Oh, I already have my pickaxe out. I was like, what, what am I doing? Okay, uh, actually, I was looking for cobble to fix this wall here. So, boom, boom, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of the bottom layer. These guys right here. Uh, first, like this. Nice. Then we also need to build a way out to the back here. So now, uh, you'll see that obviously I grabbed these hoppers. You remember that? And these chests. Or, uh, this chest. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. And then we're just going to go ahead and do this really easily. Boom, boom. There we go. Now it just feeds all into that chest. Now let's go ahead and just boom. This should like that. And now the idea is the reason or the reason why I did this is so that uh, even if the mobs are one hit, because we're going to we're going to make it a one hit spawner. Uh, so we should just be able to hit them once and so that we get the experience. And uh, and if we can't like pick up a drop that goes back there, it'll just be pushed into the hoppers and into the chest hopefully back here now our final steps are getting up to back up to the top and filling up the top with some water uh, and creating some half slabs so before we go back uh, why don't we go ahead and create ourselves some half slabs you may notice that I made a few wooden trap doors I was getting a little frustrated that I had run out and I'm not gonna lie I made far too many <laughs> but that is all right uh, here we go now uh, like I said I'll see you guys up at the top because there's a few things that I would like to mention before we go ahead and uh, and call the mob spawner finished. All right, now that we're up at the top, like I said, I wanted to mention a few things uh, before I call this completely done. This will flow in there like that because uh, I need the unlimited water supply right now, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, So we're going to place water in every single of the corners that we can, like here. Actually, before we do that, we should probably just go ahead and... So that that water doesn't mess up anything else right now. Uh, there we go. And like I said, we're just going to keep placing some water in all of these corners. Now, uh, I wanted to mention that if you put half slabs in the middle of these 3x3s, three uh, mainly, hold on, what, I misclicked that? Are you kidding me? It's all right. Um, if, you put, if you put half slab blocks here, like in the middle of those, like in these spots, all the way around these, that makes it an anti uh, anti spider spawner. So you won't get any spiders to uh, to spawn or fall down. I don't think. Um, I don't know if the mob grinder is gonna have problems with spiders, but uh, let's hope not, um, because that would be kind of a bummer. Uh, here we go. I should probably grab two at a time, huh? Let's speed this process up a little bit. There we go. And then which ones are we missing? Are we just missing this one? I th oh, no, we're missing this corner as well. There we go. So now you see the water uh, stops here. If if you have the water overflow into that, uh, yeah, you might have messed up the spawner. It's whatever. You just, you can, I'm sure you'll be able to fix it. Okay, so there we go. You can make it one further out or whatever. That's what I meant to say. Uh, and there we go. So there, there's our final thing. Now, like I said, it should be pushing you see how it pushes all those out now the final step is you can either make more layers that you can just copy this and put it up one more and one more and one more and that will make more and more areas for mobs to spawn but we're making a simple spawner today so we're gonna go ahead and just hop up here and i know it is nighttime but that's all right because we, we we're i mean 
we're almost done here. So now you're going to want to put half slabs on the roof. Uh, half slabs, and you're going to want to top off, obviously, so that they can spawn during the day. Um, so, yeah, we're, that's what I'm, I'm going to be doing here, is I'm just going to go ahead and all the way around, or all the way across the top, we're just going to put half slabs. And hopefully we get some mobs starting to spawn in here so that we can get uh, get our experience and stuff. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back with you guys once, hopefully, the mob spawner can be called completed. All right, and there we are. We have completely covered the top with half slabs. Uh, it didn't take very long at all. Now, the next step is, like I said, we need to light it up. Now, you can't hear any mobs mobs inside. Mobs. You can't hear any mobs spawn inside of this place right now um, because we are too close to it. 24 blocks is the limit. Uh, and I actually forgot a step here, so I was going to show it to you guys that, I, that I'm going to do it right now. Uh, we're going to go in here. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take these, and you'll see that I have built levers. You can use levers, buttons, whatever. Uh, really is not that important uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this and i want to face them down even though it doesn't really matter uh, we're gonna put vines there now let's go ahead and do this now remember if you guys get stuck in here you can just do something like this and jump up i mean it's not a big deal you're not ruining the spawner by doing that uh, as long as you don't place it on a source block um, and you know if you make the jumps it helps a lot too um, because it's a low ceiling it's gonna be hard to make the jumps so what i recommend doing is just there, you made yourself a little bridge, right? Okay, so now that we're on this side, I'm going to go ahead and do the th same thing again. We're just going to go ahead and put these levers in the way. And then these, now what this does is this resets the um, the fall distance. So when you make the number of layers up, uh, you won't have any trouble because they'll just fall in the middle. And then they'll be slowed down by those vines. And then they'll fall the 24 blocks or the, the 20 whatever blocks to make them one hit. Uh, one hit mobs. So yeah, that's why, that's why we basically do that. Uh, and like I said... Uh, it's not required at this level, I guess. I guess it might be required because we don't want them to fall their to their deaths uh, with only one layer, but it's whatever. Okay, so like I said, well, let's go ahead and, and light up, I mean, everything. Anything and everything we can, uh, we will. This is my way down, by the way. I made a kind of a makeshift climb the vines kind of thing. Uh, like I said, see, and you can see that like these skeletons are spawning out here. Uh, and it's a good thing that it's night right now because then obviously we can see exactly where things can still spawn without... Uh, worrying about just kind of guessing it so we're gonna go ahead and light this place up a little bit let me light this all up and then i'll sleep and then hopefully i'll be able to show you guys exactly what the mob spawner can do or the mob grinder can do when we're done all right and it looks like i i just missed the uh the cutoff in order to sleep i mean i literally i must have just missed it uh because the sun's starting to rise once again due to uh Think. so let's go ahead and kill some of the mobs around this hopefully and uh we're gonna hope that they can't spawn anymore i don't know why i placed down the second cobble there was already one there no problem okay let's go ahead and yeah like i said let's go murder some like this the skeleton out here and if we see any more we'll uh we'll do that as well but here we go come here and second hit should be dead there we go now let's go see if our mob grinder works uh, i think i did it to to the right specifications uh, here we go. Hello? Oh, hello. See, so he should be one hit. Or pretty close to it. No. See, there you go. And see, he fell and we get his, his experience. And we got his arrows. And there's some of the working ex worker stuff I actually got. Uh, I put these in here so that mobs don't spawn in there. It just makes it so that, you know, we don't get a creeper down here that's full life and blows up the whole the whole place. Uh, actually, I probably should move those, though. Because uh, if we're swinging a sword in here, we don't want that. We'll, we'll just, like, put them somewhere where it's really rare that we're going to have to hit. Like up there. So now, hopefully, we'll, we'll, we'll get some more guys going. Now, like I said, um, we... We do want to um, look into lighting up some of the caves under here as well. Uh, this is a really deep quarry. Uh, I should probably fill that up. But uh, we're also going to make it so that we can obviously do this during during the um, during the night as well. We can just kind of chill here and let them all come to us. So let me go ahead and I'll build a structure around it. Um, I'll get back to you guys when, when we have a finished product. I'm just going to cover this up, like I said, a little bit here. And we're going to want to make it so we can still go down like that. Um, because... We still want to be able to get into this quarry. 
All right, and there we go. I've built a, a lower room to it, and I put half slabs all along the top. Uh, I also put half slabs along the top of the the stone core we had going because I do not want to fall in on accident here. Like I said, I'm just going to continuously light up anything that I see dark out here. Oh, hi, Mr. Kitty Cat. Oh, that is so cool. There's a cat right here. We should totally get a cat. We should, we should, we'll do that next episode. We'll totally get ourselves this cat or something. That'd be awesome. Anyway, but I wanted to show you guys what progress had done. Uh, I, I, I guess you, you guys should be able to hear it. Uh, check it out. There are a few um, of these guys here. Uh, it's not a lot uh, yet. But the thing is, is that uh, obviously if I chill here and kill them all... Um, as we go, we should be good. Why can't I reach this guy? There we go. And see, now that's why we put the hoppers down, like I said, so that we can go ahead and get this. And, and we'll, we'll grind out quite a few levels out here. We'll get some upgraded armor and stuff. I also put down some more chests just in case we ran out of room for something or, or anything like that. And uh, and here's the entrance to our quarry for the for the stone. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this episode was a little bit short. Uh, there's actually one more thing that I can show you guys while we're doing an outro here. Uh, remember, if you guys enjoy the channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new uh if you liked the video remember to hit that like button uh otherwise i hope you all have a great day thank you so much for watching and uh, i hope you learned at least a little something today about mob grinders and, and and ways that you can set them up because uh you guys should do the same exact thing and get some levels for yourself uh, i'll talk to you guys later